Hey you guys, my name is Heather Sidden and I'm going to share with you today some very important information. What can you do each day for success? This is something crucial and vital information that I actually learned recently and I want to share with you guys. So I had a few minutes that I wanted to kind of share. Let me fix this. I'm not with my normal setup. So, um, hey Norman, how's it going? Miss seeing you guys. Um, okay, so this is called DMOs, and this is going to blow your mind. Um, I was in a previous company, and I best basically begged for somebody to tell me what to do for success every day because I felt so lost. I was being told it's all about mindset and wasn't taught about my or action steps or anything like that. So, when I learn this, you guys, it is crucial, okay? So, what I'm going to talk to you about is DMOs, which is daily, um, oh my gosh, I just totally had a brain fart. Daily method of operation. There we go. When you go live, when you hit that live button, you just completely freeze sometimes. Daily method of operation, DMOs. Raise your hand, put yes or no if you have heard of DMO. Oh, that actually sounded pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like a little rap. So, if you struggle, if you're on the struggle bus about, I have this business, I don't know what to do, I have so many things, I want to do this, but I don't know what to do, keep watching because I struggled every single day, used to, and then now I'm kicking butt, is so to speak. And I want to help you to be able to um, overcome your obstacles. And so, this is huge, okay? So, Take a piece of paper, write these down, and y'all, I'm so visual, I have to write them out, and I'm going to show y'all, I'm going to kind of, just because I love y'all, I'm going to give you some bonus tips here, okay? So, action steps, are you ready? Okay, so number one, what you want to do is make a goal to do this every single day. You want to talk to how many people a day? Is it five? Is it two? And then, you know, you may be doing this full time and you want to talk to, oh my gosh, I guess 50 people. Um, do you want to talk to 20 people? Are you able to do only two? That is okay. You are your own boss. You get to decide how many people you want to talk to, okay? So, what does this entail? So, this is basically... Um, it can mean actually various different things, but something that I have specifically wrote down is something to ask if somebody is open. Whether, you know, obviously you're going to start a conversation. You're not going to just randomly talk to somebody and ask if they're open to your product, service, or business, right? So you're going to ask um, if they're open about a product or your business opportunity. Uh, a big thing, this is a bonus, I've actually wasn't going to talk about this. Something recently that I have learned is actually you want to lead um, not through recruiting. You want to lead as in with customers and get them to do use your product first so they, they can fall in love with the product, okay? Let me see if I can modify this a little bit. i got to put this laptop on my on my legs. So, I don't, okay. Um, okay. So, basically, you're asking to see if they're open. Do not use the word interested. Interested is kind of thing of the past, and this, in, in these days and time is, is spamming. So, you want to use the word open, okay? And you guys probably, you know, if you have been um, doing your personal development, you're going to be learning, learning these kind of things. So, I don't just know these just, uh, um, how should I say this? I don't just make these up or just kind of just know it. I do my personal development. I learn these things, learn what's working for other people, and then implement them in my business. I learn to know what works and what doesn't. And using interested doesn't work. Using open works, okay? Okay, so the first thing is you want to know how many people you're going to talk to a day. Okay, so that should, you should set a time limit on these. So you should maybe set a time limit, I don't know, 15 minutes according to how much time you got for that day, okay? And that could be um, your leads, your follow-up, or anything like that, okay? So number two is, like, if you have samples or product packs or whatever they are called in your company, um, we have, like, experience packs that we do. Uh, you want to be able to share those with people, okay? Um, however your company does it, like, you know, that's on your own bias and that sort of thing. But I know how we do things and um, 
don't want to go in specifics, but anyway, you want to have a goal to be able to share your products with a certain amount of people, whether that's free, charge of whatever that you do, um, you know, have at it, you're your own boss. Okay, so one is how many people you want to talk to a day. Two, to share your products. You want to get them in people's hands, okay? So three is personal development. You want to set a time limit of how long you do this. So if you want to do 15 minutes, um, you know, 15 minutes of personal development, affirmations, prayer, anything like that you want to do, um, gratitude list, that kind of falls on that category. Mindset falls into that category. So you pick out how long you want to do that for. So um, I will be honest, I'm a type of person, I'll get involved in a training, either a book or a video, and I just want to keep watching. So I have to really be diligent about my time. That is something I have personally struggled with, and I'm getting better at that. But I wanted to tell you these things because the, this kind of task um, really helps. All right, so four, you know, is mindset and affirmation. So you want to use those I statements. And again, I have a live video that I did, oh, several months ago about affirmations. And it can be anything from, um, you know, a college student wanting to get in a specific school or um, a program to in your business to wanting your kids, to, <laughs> you know, anything at all. Um, anyway, so number five would be building your network. So, uh, basically, that's adding two new friends a day and engage with them. So, I have a system that I have started implementing that, you know, you're not really adding random friends, right? You don't want to just randomly add somebody and, and that sort of thing. So, I have a system in place, and you can reach out to me if you want to know what that is, of how to get people in your, more of your audience to want to see and engage in your post, okay? And there is a system that I have for that. Um, that's not what this video is about, and um, you can reach out to me. And I have several different kind of videos that I want to do, and that's one of them. Um, so building your network. Uh, something, a huge tip that I want to tell you that I learned um, from somebody is that Facebook Live and stories is where it's at, basically. Uh, you know, Instagram has those stories uh, where you can either do a picture and that sort of thing. Uh, Facebook is doing the same thing, and that's where a lot of people, when they log on, they're looking up at the top and kind of seeing what they want to look at, right? Um, let's see. So, post. So, number one, talk. you want to figure out how many people you want to talk to per day. And number two is how many people you want to actually share your products a day. So we have a system in place for our company of like a sheet and everything that we fill out. Um, and again, that's company specific. Three, personal development. Four, mindset and affirmations. Five is building your network. And something that pops into my mind, like some people are like very limited because they work in their own um, their own network. Like if you make your po your business post just your friends, only your friends are going to see that. But if you start, let me give you this. So if you really start making your posts public, then you're going to get a more big area reach out um, of engagement for people, right? And so if you expand your network and start adding people to your friends list each day, your network is going to be huge. Because let me tell you, the work that I have put in throughout the last couple of years are is really reeking right now. That's probably not the right word. It is... It's getting late, you guys. So it's really beneficial to me right now and um and building your network. And you're gonna you're gonna see that. So basically, um two to three friends a day, and I can give you the information that you need for that. So reach out to me if you want to know how to build your network without being spammy and just adding random friends, you guys. All right, so post. This is another thing. Okay, so I want to tell you that just for some of my posts, I have over the last couple of months, I have got over a hundred leads. That has never happened to me before, ever, since, uh, never. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I have really learned a lot and really started implementing what I have learned and been testing out things. And by crackies, that's my southern language there, y'all. And by crackies, it really works. <laughs> um, 
and you can reach out to me. I have actually made a video actually while I was on vacation back in June about how I've actually got over 90 leads at that time. Now it's over 100. Um, so leads or excuse me, post ideas are lifestyle, and I'm in actually in health and wellness, so health tips, you can, if you're in beauty um, or anything like that, you can do beauty tips, uh, makeup tips, um, things like that. Quotes, let's be honest, you guys, the world is absolutely crazy these days, and we all need some positivity. Okay, I'm going to talk faster because I'm on 20%. I was just at 57 so, you want to do quotes, motivational, um, you know, get quotes from The Secret. If you have not watched that video on Netflix, you need to watch it, by the way. Curiosity posts, um, weight loss, energy, um, different kinds of business tips before and after, testimonials, educational value, and parenting tips, okay? So, those are ideas. Obviously, you know, there's a lot more that you can put. Hey, Madison. Hey, girl. Hey, Brandy. But the biggest takeaway I want you to take out from these posts and Facebook Lives is you've got to create value. And if you're on here and you're in a company and you post your uh, product name and um, uh, you post your website link and you have your company name all over your Facebook, take it off, okay? You're doing yourself a disservice when you are spamming all over Facebook and your leads are not coming to you for a reason. <laughs> Let's be honest. Let's be the inner drill sergeant of me is coming out. Okay. Um, there is a background story about that, but that's not what this is about. So anyway, if do a look around on your profile, and if you have your product name, product or your company name, your website link, or anything like that, if somebody can look at your profile and know that you're in network marketing. Okay, take your take your links off right now. Um, so basically, number seven is follow up. So you've heard fortune is in the follow up. I honestly think the fortune is before you get to the follow up. That's just me. I'm going above and beyond because you're already building that relationship. You're building your trust. You're building of you're being a master asker and asking about um, what their struggles are um, and things like that. Okay. It's actually before the follow-up, in my opinion, of, you know, where it's at. You get to know people. You want to know what their struggles are. Are they struggling with energy? Are they struggling? Are they, um, you know, they need extra money? You know, I could go on and on about that, but that's not what it's about. So, you want follow-up. You want to follow-up with your leads, your customers, your connections, um, and comments that you've had from your leads on your post, and your messages, okay? And number eight, you want to build relationships, you guys, that is super important to do because, you know, I always give this example. You don't go to the grocery store and say, oh my gosh, hey girl, I love your whatever, if you're in clothing or something like that, or purse, um, or even with my company, hey Helen, how are you? Um, we do coffee, right? <laughs> and different things. I don't just go up to somebody in the grocery store and say, Oh my gosh, have you tried our coffee? Blah, 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 and word vomit all over them. No, and we shouldn't treat um, social media that way either. Uh, it's like we've never met the person. And so a lot of people want to spam. Let's be honest, okay? A lot of people want to be spammy and not build a relationship. Not cool, right? And people doesn't like that. So I am running really low on battery. So let's um, do a summary here. So the daily action steps and you guys you set time limits when you do these and be, uh, even set a timer. This is what's going to get you to the next level. You guys. So DMO talk to how many people a day, um, share your coffee or actually it's, you know, with my company or share your products with how many people a day you want to do your personal development, mindset affirmations, building your network. Number six is your post. So you, that way you can get leads coming to you. And then you want to do number seven, follow up and eight building relationships. So, uh, you guys, I just want to share this with you because it has really tremendously helped me and I'm detailed oriented person. I like to have a plan. I am a planner. And if I feel so unorganized, if I'm not planned, and if I don't have it written out, whew, you better think I'm in trouble. Uh, so I want to show you this real quick. 
Um, if I have any battery, battery power left, Lord have mercy, I'm mixing up my words like crazy. That's what I do when I am tired and ready to go to bed. So basically, um, I have put a notebook together for myself, and this has been rocking my business when I've been doing this. Is um, I come up with a goal sheet, and I hope I don't run out of battery. Uh, a goal sheet basically for August, and putting down my goals and how action steps I'm going to get to those goals. I have put a calendar together of different posts and things like that, and I'm working on my posts before the day before, and also a big tip that I'm going to tell you, try your best to plan for the next day, okay? So, like, today I would plan for tomorrow. Hey, Robin, how are you? Hey, Emily. And then on the next page, I just kind of write some different ideas that I'm thinking about posts or any kind of training videos that I have watched, like on my products this evening, something brand new that just came out today, and it's going crazy. Um, that's in itself. Um, and I'm visual, so we have like smart ships and retail sales and things like that, but I also put down my goal for the month, and then I circle numbers so that I am a check-off person. Can I get a emoji here of <laughs> um, if you are a checklist type of person? So what I did, I numbered these, and so I have actually need my pen right now because I actually got a new smart ship this evening. So I am checking off number one. Um, so that is number one. And then we have our sheet that we're talking about earlier. Uh, I don't want to bend that page. About with your company, if you have how many products you want to do to get in people's hands, I have that sheet next. And then everything that I just went over on the DMOs, I actually made a Word document. And I even put down specific, like their name, like people's names. And that way I can plan out the night before. And I'm not going to show you this because I got people's name on it. And I don't want to show people's names on Facebook Live. No, not cool. Not very postured. Um, so I even wrote down, you know, who I, what, you know, how can I say this? Like their name and the reasoning behind it and what I can ask and that sort of thing. Because my goal in my business is to help people um, and that sort of thing. So if I want to get to know them, I want to ask them what their struggle is and that sort of thing because it's important to me. Uh, Okay, uh, there was something right quick because I know my battery's going to die, you guys. And basically, I would do that um, for the each day. And then at the very end of the week, I have like a summary that I have printed out. But I actually, this is somebody that I have followed on YouTube. And you, this is copyrighted, so I cannot hand this out to anybody. Um, but it's basically like a week summary. So that way you are accountable of ha and see visually what you do for the week. And then your results will follow, correct? Um, I'm trying to hurry because I'm like probably like at 2% by now of battery. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to message me. And also, um, there was something else I was going to say. But I'm trying to hurry you guys. All right. Hey, Laura. Hey, Robin. I know there's a, several people that hopped on. Um, if you have any other questions, reach out to me. I do have several other things, like a daily schedule that I did, um, specifically about times, um, developing skills of a master asker, and how to map your goals, you guys. If you're not mapping out your goals, you don't know what you're working towards. Um, and you, then how to reach your goals. So, like, for instance, I have a goal of certain amount a month and how do I attain that goal based on my products and and team and things like that also Facebook live formula what do you say <laughs> I'm wanting to do something with that as well and teaching y'all um, so stay tuned for that all right you guys if you found that this was valuable please comment below of somebody that you think would take value from this um, also share it if you know, if you found value, so it will help others because I have struggled before. But I'm going to hop off here. Just feel free. Um, if this gave you value, comment below and what you learned. So I will talk to you guys soon and God bless.